Hi all, um, I'm going to demonstrate CICD code pipeline um, automatic build and deployment. So in the last demo, uh, we have seen up to uh, building the code for the change in microservice whenever there is a new commit in the Mona repository. In this demo, we are going to see the next step. After the code build for the change in microservice, we will create a Docker image for that change in microservice and then uh, we will push it to the ACI repository from where our AWS service will pull the image and create the uh, instance, new running instance. So in ACI, um, I have two uh, repositories. One is for first app and the other one is for second app. In second app, the last image uh, was created at um, 7.34 p.m. today, IST. So whenever a new image is pushed to this repository, uh, that uh, will be untagged and the new image will be uh, tagged as blue v1. So that the latest image will be used by our AWS service always. Okay. So as we have seen in the uh, last demo, um, I have created a pipeline for uh, triggering uh, the code build whenever there is a new commit in the Mono repository. And also I have created a new rule which will um, create the instance whenever there is a new push event to the uh, easier repository for second app with the tag blue v1 when there is such successful push event it will automatically um, uh, invoke the ECS task so ECS task is defined like this we will create the instance for the second app task definition and that instance will be launched in Fargate container using this blue service definition Let me go ahead and make changes in the application. So new commit has been done on second app. So it has to trigger the bill for the second application. Let me go to uh, build history. Yeah. Yeah, it has triggered the uh, base build for this um, mono repository. So this build will identify uh, what all the microservices have changed in that particular commit so in our case it will uh, it, it has to trigger build for the second application since we have checked in uh, the changes only in mono second app so meanwhile let me go through the uh, changes what i have done in the script file So um, after the build is done, I am building the Docker image for the um, um, Mono second app and then I am pushing that image to the uh, respective ECI repository which is second app, Mono second app repository. So once the image is pushed then automatically uh, this rule will be triggered and it will start deploying um, the new instance 
but before that I need to stop the old instance so I have written a script for that stop old second app instances which is under scripts folder so um, it will get the list of instances running um, with the second app uh, task definition and it will stop um, all those instances one by one now let me go to the build history yeah as we expected it has triggered the second app build yeah build job is triggered now it will take uh, at least two minutes Once the build is successful, then it will uh, untag this image, which has been created at 7:34 p.m., and then the new image will be tagged as blue v1. As soon as that step is successful, um, it will automatically uh, pull the image. That AWS service will pull the image and create uh, a new instance using this rule. Now let me go to second app service. Let me see the timestamp of the egg, uh, currently running instance. So the current running instance uh, has started at 7.34 today. So this instance will be uh, stopped before creating the new instance for that uh, second app. let's wait for 30 seconds yeah so now the build is successful and uh, it is creating the docker image using amazon core 11 Yes, so uh, it has pushed the image to the uh, repository as well. I mean, easier repository, and then um, it is stopping the old running instance, which ends with F1 ED. F1 ED. Now it should have been stopped. Yes, let me go to um, second app service tasks yes the old instance has been stopped and the new instance deployment has just started it is in provisioning state id has changed let me go to details section so it has been created just now 1759 Now the new instance is up and running. Yeah, the new instance has started at 7.59 today. Let me go to the ECR repository. Let me refresh. Yeah, the new image is pushed at 7.58 with the tag blue v1. The old image um, is untagged. Yeah, that's it.